let's take a moment to think about our age. How old do we feel? Do we feel our age? The good and the bad news is that we're all going to age for a long time. There is a worldwide increased life expectancy. And by the year 2050, the world's population of people aged 60 and older will double. So the good news is that we're going to spend many more years aging. The bad news is that adult aging is associated with speech perception difficulties, declines in cognitive abilities, and sensory impairments such as hearing loss. And if we zoom into the hearing loss, by the year 2050, nearly 2.5 billion people will suffer from some degree of hearing loss. And actually, only one quarter, 25% of those who need to use hearing aids actually use them. It's not just about hearing. This untreated hearing loss can lead to declines in cognitive function, declines in neural function, to depression and social isolation. So if we know that the hearing loss can lead to this and that, can it work the other way too? We propose the solution and we ask, can treating hearing loss improve cognitive and neural function? And the answer is yes. We were the first to demonstrate that the use of hearing aids improves cognitive and neural function. And as you can see here, our participants in red, the, the adults that used our hearing aids, they improved their working memory significantly. So there's hope. But it's not just about hope, it's evidence-based. Big hearing aid companies in the world are using our evidence. Big other teams in the world are implementing our research. So what's now? We have shown the problem. We proposed a solution. We have the evidence. We still need to change the statistics. How to age more healthy more well-being with more healthy hearing. And that's what I do and we do every day in my lab. In my audio neuro lab, we continue to develop early detection methods and ways to overcome this age-related hearing loss and to offset or delay its consequences. And what is also important is to translate the scientific findings of my lab into public knowledge. And I do this in every way on local stages, and even when I met President Bill Clinton in New York, I checked if he's still using his hearing aids. <laughs> and let's see the effect on Grandpa Simpson. A hearing aid? Forget it. People will think I'm old, Dad. Come in. You are old. <gasps> Grandpa Grandpa's happy. Hearing is more than just hearing. And this was one of the avenues we have an impact in, in my lab, that promote um, healthy lifestyle and well-being. And there are many other projects in my lab that I would like you to hear about. But for now, hear that. Help me spread the news. Let's age better. To healthy aging.